Hello guys, good morning. So today it is, what day? It's January 25th, it is 9.25. I actually have um, to go to school right now, which is where I'm going. I have a facial booked. I will be the one doing the facial, performing the facial. It is my friend. Uh, it's a complimentary facial. But before I make my way over there, I'm gonna grab some coffee because I haven't ate anything. So hopefully I don't play and I make it on time. But let's get it. I'm gonna take y'all with me. Good morning. Can I have a medium iced caramel macchiato? Si, por favor. No, 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 frío, frío. Frío. Gracias. I need to learn how to work the cameras and the lighting of this camera. I've had it for like years and I barely use it, so. Oh, and also I dyed my hair again. I dyed my roots, but then my, the rest of my hair was not matching, it was not vibing. And so then I just dyed the rest of my hair. And it's not the color that I wanted, but it's okay. It's, she's cute, whatever, she's cute. <sighs> Who is fucking up my vibe? Okay, so I made it. My client, which is my friend, she's just looking for parking and it's such a hassle to look for parking here. So I kind of have something set up here. Um, just a little bit. I'm still working on what I'm gonna work with her. I'm working with new products, which are the mirror. I think I'm saying that right. But I had to get the hot towels ready. The steamer is prepping to start, you know, steaming. And then we just gotta get her here. And then I'll show you guys what we're gonna do next. All right, so I'm doing a voiceover. Let me not fuck this up because I'm nervous. <laughs> So I want to go ahead and just say I apologize if I do say something out of order or if it's the wrong word for the service. I'm just nervous. It's my first time doing a voiceover for a facial on my channel. So let's get into it. The person that you see on the screen right now is a very good friend of mine from high school. She is my client for today and I'm very thankful that she allowed me to go ahead and let me use this footage for this video. I love you. Thank you so much. As you can see, I have the steamer going all over her face evenly. I got my gloves on and I'm making sure that I'm evenly cleansing her face. Whatever I do to one side, I will do to the other. In this clip, I am starting to do an exfoliation. I forgot to mention that I did a double cleanse on her. I just didn't get it on camera. But here, I'm exfoliating and there are levels to exfoliations. I gotta say that a lot of people over exfoliate or don't exfoliate the right way. I gotta say that I was one of those people that would over exfoliate and let me tell you the recovery for over exfoliating is not cute you're dry you're flaky you don't understand why your face is reacting the way that it is because you know you're doing your best to get your skin looking glowy and dewy and clear from like all this stuff that we don't want on our face and it's because you're just overusing products and overusing products is never a good thing using more does not equal better and some products, if you use too much of it, it will clog up your pores because you're not meant to use too much. Since we're still on the topic of exfoliation, I'm just going to remind you guys to be gentle with your skin. You do not have to be too harsh when it comes down to exfoliating. It already does enough. It's high frequency time. <laughs> so I really like this wand. If you guys don't know what high frequency is, as you can see, I have placed a hair net over my client's face to protect her from actually being touched by that wand. It doesn't hurt, but it does make a really loud buzzing noise and it does have like a little burning smell to it since it is touching, you know, the net and what it's doing is drying out and killing any bacteria underneath the skin that we all know when it comes up. They create pimples and zits and we don't like that. So with this one, it's the same thing, it's just a different head and this one is directly onto a pimple that you want to dry out. I love this, but if you're pregnant, I do not recommend. And if you have like metal in your body, I also would not recommend. It would not be comfortable. This specific jelly mask is hyaluronic, so obviously you want to retain moisture. She's a little bit dry, she does have acne, and we just did high frequency, so that is going to be drying out her face, so this is why I specifically chose this one. Now, after 
five minutes I went ahead and I peeled it and I used the towel as a stopper just so it wouldn't run down her neck I added too much water to this one and I, I just didn't honestly I, I fucked it up <laughs> um, but it worked out in the end you know and it's really easy to remove out of your hair I struggled a lot in the beginning to you know get it off with you know clients but if you just grab a hot towel or if you don't have a hot towel you have baby wipes that would work just as fine you can just run it through get it off as you can see me I have my hot towel and I'm just making sure that I have everything off because um, it, it, it does happen and now we're going into the serums I use a hyaluronic serum on her face again just to lock in some moisture the next serum I went in with is a vitamin C serum and I really like this just because this one helps with aging as much as nobody wants to age it happens but here's the good news you can do a lot of things to prevent wrinkles and fine lines premature fine lines so that's a bonus you just got to really look into what works best for your skin and now I'm just adding moisturizer again to ensure that we lock that moisture on her face since we did do high frequency. It will be drying out parts of her face because we are trying to dry out the bacteria. And then the last thing that I did not capture on camera was sunscreen. I added sunscreen on her. Make sure to wear your sunscreen during the day, guys. Okay, so we just finished. I just finished with my facial. Loved it. She's a really good friend of mine from high school. And um, oh my god, what's wrong with my eyebrow? Good morning, guys. How's it going? How's it going? So, what day is it today? Today's it's like literally the next day, but who knows if this is even gonna go up. It's Wednesday, January 26th, and it is about to be nine o'clock in the morning. And I'm on my way to my cousin's house with my phone and my laptop in hand and the charger because today we're gonna try to get those Bad Bunny pre-tickets. We're really trying to do this because we failed last time, which his concert is this upcoming month in February. And I really wanted to go. It's my birthday month, um, but we just couldn't do it. So we're going to try to go ahead and grab either the Vegas, the San Diego, or the LA ones because I would really love to go to a Bad Bunny concert, you know, before I die. <laughs> so I found two little puppies. <laughs> They're my cousin's dogs. They were walking around the neighborhood and I picked them up because they're always trying to escape. <laughs> they're so cute. Hi, Nagini. Hi, Mama. Las estabas cuidando? This is my cousin's cat as well. Bro, yesterday I shaved my coochie and I cut myself. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was like, oh. I got in 4K. <laughs> we got how many screens going? We got, I have one screen open for in case it like crashes yeah so it's, it's like on the main page uh -huh. and then i have the one for san diego and then the one for inglewood uh -huh. and then live nation main screen again live nation through Ticketmaster, and then we have this one oh for some reason i'm not seeing a lot of we got this one going four minutes san san diego is moving i would love to whether i may want to Stressful. San Diego is moving. Inglewood, Inglewood, Inglewood. Helen, why are you calling me right now? Can you call you in? Answer. Hey girl, what's up? Hi. My San Diego one is less than 2,000 now. 430. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bote lista, get ready. Get ready. 243 93 <laughs> 300 24 85 dollars get him you got him dude look at that you got him that is so cool oh my god <coughs> oh my god 
Yes! Yes! Everybody. Hey guys, so it is much later in the day. It is five, it's about to be six. I just dropped off Osaya with his dad. We had a great conversation. We caught up a little bit with life. Um, and now I find myself in the parking lot of the gym that I go to. And let me tell you, I have never seen this parking lot this full in my life. Like it's full from front to end. I've never seen it this way. And I'm like the one day out of the week where I actually want to go to the gym because this week I have not had any motivation. It's completely full. Like the lot is completely full. And I brought my camera to record any exercises that I might do. But if the gym is this full, then I'm gonna have to rethink this. <laughs> this car in front of me got parking. Lucky. The one day out of the week where I actually was like, let me get, let me get this workout in. I wanna feel that. Mm. It's like, it's like I don't have any luck. So I don't think, I don't think that's gonna happen today. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's go to Chick fil A. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. So it is the next day. It is January 27th. It's a Thursday and it is 11 o'clock. And I, I'm gonna make my way to the gym this time. Hopefully there's parking because yesterday was a mess. It was a mess. So let's get to it. Oh God, here we go again with the voiceover. <laughs> I don't wanna get a copyright claim. So if I annoy you with these, I'm so sorry. But again, this is my first time actually going up here and pulling out my camera and recording myself going to a public gym. So I apologize in advance for having the worst camera angles possible, <laughs> but I'm going to start off at the Stairmaster. I did 10 minutes fluctuating um, every two minutes, increasing and decreasing the speed. And then once I was done, I went in to go stretch, make sure that I was squat ready because we're trying to grow this booty. And um, the, for <laughs> the first form of squat that I do is just a basic squat and just using my body weight. The next one is a five second hold, I believe is what it's called. I'm not a professional, guys. I'm a beginner. So if you do see or hear me say something wrong, please correct me. Or even if my form is wrong, correct me. I'm not afraid of constructive criticism. Uh, right here, I'm doing what is called a reverse lunge. And these are fucking hard. They look so easy. And that's why I'm not using any weight. I'm just using my actual body weight. And it's hard. But I heard and I've seen that these really do help to grow the glutes. And that's what I'm trying to do this month and this year. So here it is, <laughs> me struggling. <laughs> yeah, these are killer, they're amazing. And then I am doing RDLs. I don't know what the abbreviation is for, but these are RDLs and they're a lot harder than you would think. And by looking at this footage, my form isn't all that great, so I'm gonna work on it. I feel like shit. It's my first day back after like two weeks not coming. <sighs> and I feel like I'm gonna have to take a shit. <laughs> I'm missing a couple clips, but this is the only one that I have left doing and working my hamstrings. It's currently 4.30. It's, you know, the same day, and I am editing the vlog that crossing my fingers will go up. <laughs> I do this all the time where I edit vlogs, and then they just never see the light of day. They're just saved. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it really isn't anything else that we're going to be doing today. I mean, I picked up my son. We went to eat, we went to go pick up my sister, and then we got some fruit, and now we find ourselves at my mom's house. There really isn't much, like I said, all I'm gonna do is do homework with him, have him bathe, and then we're just gonna have a movie night. And that's pretty much it. Like, there really is nothing else that's gonna happen. It's a school night, so that's how it goes. And um, yeah, I, I'm gonna end the, the vlog here. Before I end it though, I do wanna know if you guys like the vlog, what do you guys like about them you know so i can start inputting more of the content that you guys like this is just me testing out the water seeing what works what doesn't um i'm not really comfortable with the camera out in public um like at the gym it was kind of weird for me but at the same time i was like you know what fuck it like it's fine like i need it i really want to do this so i need to get sort of used to it or comfortable with the idea that some people are gonna like say things at times. Let me know what content you guys would like. More facial, more gym, more just me in the car talking to you guys. 
relatable content, you know, something that you guys would like to just see. That's it, guys. I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. Take care.